Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to tell you about my top five favorite features of the new macOS Ventura. Let's get into it. The first favorite feature is something when I saw it in the keynote, I was like, I don't really know. This is kind of cool, but like, do I want to be bothered? Does it make that much of a difference? And before getting my hands on and actually testing it out, didn't really think it was a big deal, but now I'm kind of into it. This is the continuity camera and on my phone, I do have the iOS 16 beta. So continuity camera works when your devices are on the same operating software, so iOS 16, the new Mac OS. They're both on the same Wi-Fi, they're both connected. This actually already went ahead and connected because I already had it set up. So basically what I can do is I can use this back-facing camera, which is a better quality camera. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is kind of cool because say I am, you know, doing something and I need to show people like my office, like yes, I can pick up my whole computer, but I could also do this. Or, of course, I can actually just use the better camera and have a better quality. Let's actually switch between this camera and the HD camera. Okay, so here we have the back facing with the camera continuity. Now let's go to the HD camera. This is the M1 MacBook Air. Yeah, it's just not that great. Not that great quality. So for that, I am kind of sold on that feature. It is pretty cool. Looks great. Didn't really think it was gonna make a huge difference, but was surprised that it did. Now this next feature is something that I'm really excited about because even though I live in California, I'm always checking the weather. So we now have an upgraded weather app. In Los Angeles today, it's, wow, it's 78 degrees. That's actually quite hot. But I can click on here and I can see with a you know better display of the weather. So right here, it's two o'clock, it is the peak heat of the day and I can see here it's gonna start to drop off. I can click the forecast, uh, do the same thing for the forecast for the 10 days. I can see over here, I can actually see, uh, this is really cool, so I can see the 12 hour forecast. We have light precipitation happening all over the place. I've been paying close attention to the UV index because basically if I go outside, I just instantly burn. So the UV index here is eight, very high, recommends to use sun protection until 6 p.m. That's actually really cool, um, having that kind of laid out here, bigger screen, easier to you know follow. So moving on, we have a stage manager. If you haven't noticed, we've got some widgets over here where it's like, that's kind of weird, that's different. Uh, so stage manager will keep your apps open and you can easily switch between them, bringing them to center stage. Here's an Excel sheet I was working on for an upcoming video. Here's the weather. Um, anything that I might have open, I can just you know easily switch between right here with center stage and it brings it right to the front. Definitely Apple's way of kind of um, managing windows and managing things a little bit better. It is pretty cool, although I keep clicking the wrong thing, so it's definitely something that I need to get used to. So here's where you can customize stage manager. You can have, obviously, your desktop items as well. I don't even have anything on my desktop. There it is under the settings, desktop and dock. Now this next feature is something that I love about iOS 16, and it also is here with the Mac OS. I have this picture of me holding my birthday cake. But what you can do here in photos is you can right click, I can copy subject and then say I want to send this to my sister, copy this picture into messages and send her a cutout picture of myself. I don't want to lie to you, I used this once for a thumbnail. I was too lazy to open up Photoshop so I did this exact thing, took the picture, put the picture on my desktop, took it into Photoshop and then used it that way because it definitely makes it like that PNG, it erases the background. You can easily throw that into a thumbnail, throw that into Photoshop. These edges are like a little rough but weather critical alerts critical alerts always play a sound I'll allow it you know I live in like a tsunami warning type of area so I want to know if there's a tsunami going on so I just think this is a fun feature I love sending my friends like stupid little cutout pictures of just dumb things uh, so having you know the ability to do that very easily it's pretty great. There's another feature where it's called handoff. So say I'm on a FaceTime call. Let's actually see if my sister will answer my call. Okay, I'm trying. Hi, Hi okay, I'm gonna try this. I sit down, open my computer, handoff. Okay, so I just tested out the handoff feature and for some reason I could not get it to work. Um, could be a me problem, could be that this is still a beta problem. I'm on the same Wi-Fi, I'm on the Bluetooth, I'm logged into the same Apple ID, so I'm not sure why that isn't working, but when it does work, 
that's gonna be pretty cool. Spotlight also got an upgrade, so if you do command a spacebar, it brings up the spotlight search. Say I wanna search for a horse. This will search, obviously, the internet, this will search nearby restaurants, whatever, um, but it also will show me web images, but it will also search my pictures. So here is where I personally have pictures of horses that I took. For some reason in my notes um, have, you know, shots to get. So that way the spotlight just makes it way easier to find anything that you're looking for, whether it's in your messages, your notes, your computer, your photos. The AI is able to detect a horse in your photos and know that that might be something that you want to see. Now this next feature is called desk view and it lets you to use your iPhone and basically create a top down shot. I do not have the proper mount that Apple is either selling or is going to be selling. So I'm going to have to do a little makeshift number here. So bear with me. Oh, that's actually pretty great. Let's see if this works. It's working. Hey guys, you want to watch me? Okay. That's a little distorted. Now it might be a little distorted because I just feel like I don't have it properly set up. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like I have something not correct. But you guys understand. I mean, I feel like if I had the mount, it would make a lot more sense. Apple does have their own mount, which would basically tell you where your camera is supposed to go. But this is really cool. So if you're giving presentations or if you're doing something, hey, maybe you're an artist. Maybe you want to, you know, have an easy way to show something that you're drawing or painting. Oh wait, here we go. Oh my gosh, you could zoom out. I'm just an idiot. Okay, so it turns out I'm just an idiot. There's a zoom feature, people. Zoom feature. Don't forget to zoom. <sighs> That's a little bit better. Still a little distorted though. Anyway guys, those are just my top five favorite features of the new Mac OS Ventura. If you are going to install the beta, I highly recommend uh, backing up anything you might have on your computer or installing it on a secondary device. This is not my main device uh, because I have a lot of trust issues and I have really bad luck with tech, which is funny because I work in tech. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you again next time for a new video.